today's today's project is uh, the refrigerator is not cooling right anymore. Um, what we can do here, I got a little one of these, and uh, you can see that. But basically, it's reading 13.5. So, got the Freon all hooked up, and I'm going to turn this on. And, uh, I just went, see, I turned it on and I'm waiting for the pressure to come back down. Turn it on, wait for the pressure to come back down. What I can also do is turn it on, leave it on, and see if the temperature in here starts to uh, I don't know. Almost seems like it's getting worse. Basically what I'm doing is, uh, there's no cold there, and the pressure does go down. And turn that in a little bit. do next. I'm going to turn this upside down so we can get a shot of liquid in there. Turn the Freon upside down like that. You get liquid instead of air or gas. Now that gauge coming down real slow now. But I did turn it off. And I gave it a quick shot. And that's all you really want. really don't want any more than that. Let's see if that can improve the situation any. Sure don't seem that way. It's insane. Frickin' nuts. Now, the easy trick, and uh, uh, again, I don't know if you can read that, it's at 6 degrees now. What I've learned is to aim it down there, that's the high side, and, and watch this temperature here. Right now it's up to 86, 85, 80, okay, and then watch this gauge, turn this on, let it come up and turn it off and let that go down. Let it come on down and study study that little I'm having a hard time keeping it right on there. Because I'm a left I'm a right handed guy. But basically, I had it at 89 before. I bring up the temperature. This time, I'm not letting it down. I'm just going to monitor. 
that high side thing there. And turn it back off. Man. Yeah, 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 that's a whole lot better. I gotta get up close to it and personal like I'm doing right now. It's at 90, 89, 590. Okay. And uh, that's down there, so I'll give it one more shot. Temperature don't seem to be going up much. Oh yeah. Oh 94, 92, 95. Oh that's looking good. I just saw a 96. 98.5 I see is the max. You know. Uh, obviously the closer I get I guess the hotter it gets. I don't know. Oh I just hit 103. Now the hotter this gets out here the colder it is inside. So what I want to see here, do you see that zero? That's where I'm at with this. That's where we're at. You want to see zero degrees, minus one is good, minus two. This refrigerator, I mean I could give it a little bit extra and I probably will. Just one last little shot. Okay. And uh, I'm not going to keep playing because there comes a point when you've overfilled it and that makes it inefficient again. No, oh, what the heck. I'm pointing right at it and I'm not getting no temperature. What the heck. Yeah, see. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's getting there. Well, I sure hope I did not overfill it. But, then again, No. No, I think the compressor was just... I gave it a couple of extra shots. Because apparently this thing's leaking in some kind of way. And, you know... And it's just little shots of Freon that I give it. Little bursts like that. You know, and I got a big 30 pound bottle here. They're not terribly cheap at that size, but I can tell you one thing. One bottle of this lasts a long time, and uh, you refill your car with this stuff too. Same thing. Okay. And you need some kind of, I don't know what kind of hex tool this is to close the that's the little thing inside the bullet piercing valve. The, uh, there's a little center screw there. Once it's tight, don't want to get it real tight. It's on a like, copper tube or something. Okay, and pressure is good. So, the way I noticed that my refrigerator isn't working right anymore is uh, my ice cream gets starts to get soft. Rather annoying. And, uh, and then there's the little cover here. Yeah buddy, I, I paid dearly for having the little bullet piercing valve installed, but now that I know how to do it, you can do this yourself. 
The bullet piercing valves are not too terribly cheap, but uh, you basically plug it into that little thing there and, uh, and you can refill your own refrigerator. This thing here needs a shot, I think every six months or every one or two years. I don't know exactly. I forgot to record the last time I gave it a shot. So what I'm going to do today is uh, because technically if it leaks a little and it needs to be refilled once every year or two or less it may not be worth doing much about it. I'm not real sure you'd want to uh, talk to somebody a little bit further about this. Okay, today is what I'm going to do is write right on here free on 932018. may not be the most professional way but that's how we know in the future when the service was you know anybody else looks at this you can see too and they take one look down there and they go oh yeah yeah you know so I think that takes care of it. I'm going to check the cold side one more time. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's right it's right around 0 right 2 3, you know. It's hovering around 0 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's where you want your freezer side to be. Earlier I was recording low teens, you know. And that's a real pain. So of course, by the time we get all this stuff in here, you know, <laughs> uh, that's probably a couple of hundred dollars worth of air conditioning stuff here. That little 30 pound can, I don't remember what it cost, but the gauges weren't free either. So, I want to say it's a couple of, couple of hundred dollars worth of gauges and Freon. Um, but that 30 pound can is worth a whole lot more than those stupid little 8 or 12 ounce ones that you buy at the store. Them things, man. You know. Because 30 pounds contains, I can't remember how many. It's, it's roughly less than five dollars for one of those cans when you do it this way. I, I can't remember the math. I really don't. But it's 30 pounds, so 16 ounces a pound. Uh, it's like 40 of those bottles, you know. At five bucks a piece, that's 200 bucks there, too. So I guess you could say you buy the 30 pound can and the gauges for the same price as you would have to pay for the little whatever the little 12 ounce or whatever bottles are called you know I, I just would rather have one of these I've had this for years you don't you, you just gotta find a place to store it and you know, make sure you close the valve thank you for watching